Let's see if the iPhone 5 LTE will really measure up to all the Apple hype. We think you may be surprised with the results. That's, That's right. right. A head-to-head, a head-to-head matchup, matchup of two, two heavyweight, heavyweight titans, titans of technology, technology in the Clash of the iPhones. Tonight's fight brought, brought to you by, by the good, good old people, people at RepairLabs.com. In this corner, we have the iPhone 4S, weighing in at 4.9 ounces and measuring up at a cool 4.5 inches. In the challenger's corner, newcomer iPhone 5 weighs in at 3.95 ounces but does carry the height advantage at a tall 4.9 inches. The stage is set. The playing field is level. Both devices have four bars of service and run iOS 6. So let's get ready to rumble! Okay, the first test we're gonna do is the speed test. You can obviously see that the LTE on the iPhone 5 is a lot faster. It's still trying to get it. So the upload speed for the iPhone 4S is 0.32 megabytes per second. The iPhone 5 on the LTE is 6.09 megabytes per second. The download speed on the iPhone 5 is 12.43 megabytes per second, and on the 4S, it's 0.98 megabytes per second. Who won the New York Giants versus Carolina Panthers game last night? The Giants crushed the Panthers by a score of 36 to 7 yesterday. As we can see here, it looks like they're pretty much the same speed. Siri, how many career knockouts did Muhammad Ali have? Let me think. Would you like me to search the web for how many career knockouts in New Hang Ali have? So we're just going to click search the web. Searching the web for how many career knockouts in New Hang Ali have. As we can see here, they, they pulled up you know pretty much the exact same speed. Calculate my route from here to Madison Square Garden in New York. Getting directions to Madison Square Garden. Starting route to Starting route to Madison Square Garden. Starting route to Madison Square Garden. Head north on South Mead Street. We're going to download the YouTube app that no longer comes standard with iOS 6. We're about halfway done with the download on the iPhone 5. Now we're installing the application onto the phone. Looks like the iPhone 4S is now installing. Now the iPhone 4S is completed. Looks like the iPhone 5 is a clear winner. Okay, now I'm going to show you the difference in the YouTube.
Here we have it, the iPhone 5 is the clear winner. It's up to you to decide if the iPhone 5 is worth the $200 plus a two-year contract.